Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree. Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's Decorate With Me video, I have some fun holiday projects to share with you. We're gonna be doing a little decorating here in the kitchen, and I also am sharing my favorite gift that I'm giving this holiday season. So if you are new here and you like DIY, decor, cooking, organizing, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So this is where our projects begin. I really love my big autumn sign here in the family room. And I wanted to make another sign like this that I can have up for Christmas and that would also carry us through the winter. So I enlisted the help of my husband who pretty much can make anything. He got out in his workshop, framed out a really nice piece of wood, painted it with black chalkboard paint and got it all ready for me to add some decals that I made with my Cricut. I found a quote that I really liked, and since pine trees are my absolute favorite, I included three large pine trees. Now this is the largest sign that I have ever tried to make, so I had like so much anxiety about putting down my first decal. I must have measured everything out about a dozen times, and my first word is still crooked. But isn't that the beauty of DIYs? They're not always exactly perfect. With the help of a plumb line and a framing square, I was able to get the trees pretty straight and no one was happier than I was when I laid down that last decal. I really could not be happier with the finished product. This was exactly what I had in mind and I just love the size of it and the feeling behind it. I have plans to add a red and white felt garland with little green trees for Christmas and then change things out by adding a garland with some pine cones for the winter. You know, although I had a lot of anxiety about messing this up, I really do think that it came out great even with a few of my miscalculations. This was really a fun project to work on with my hubby and I couldn't have done it without them. For the holidays, I really love to give sentimental gifts that have a special meaning. And that's why I really love this idea from Mapaful. The idea is to get a customizable map to a significant place in your life that tells an important story. Now for me, I immediately thought of my daughter, Rebecca, an archeology span major who spent a month in Italy at a field school at Herculaneum, a historic sister site to Pompeii. Now this was very significant for her because it solidified her desire to further her education in graduate school next year. Rebecca says to date, this was the greatest experience of her life and this beautiful map would be something that she can keep on her wall wherever her life leads her to remind her of that special time. Mapaful makes it really easy to hang and display the map of your choice. They have a bunch of different framing options for you online, along with many different map styles to choose from. We chose the classic map in the nautical style, along with the pine poster hanger, and they do offer free shipping worldwide. I know this will be a gift that she will really love, and I think I probably will be ordering another map for my Eagle Scout of a recent adventure that he had in Glacier National Park. So I'm gonna leave links in the information section down below to Mapaful so you can check them out for yourself. I know that this would be such a great gift for someone special on your list, and one that they would really remember and keep. So the next spot we're going to do a little bit of decorating is right here above my stove. Now, in my last video, I put together these wreaths right here on my oven hood, which I just love. I think they look great. But I want to put something um, in this big blank area here. I found one of the shiplap, I call them a shiplap panel, but this was in the Target Dollar Spot in the fall. And I have another one of those little $3 wreaths that um, I just found at the Target Dollar Spot. And I thought that um, the wreath would show up so much better 
on a backdrop like this than you know just laying up against the granite. And I have another one of those wooden ornaments and I printed out, I'm gonna have to, um, I still have to apply, you can't really see it, but I've printed out the word joy that I'm going to um, apply right here on this little ornament and hang it all together and put it up above the stove. So there you go, my third wreath is hung. I think it looks really good there. And my husband has made it really super simple for me. He has installed a little hook just there above our granite backsplash. I was using those little suction cup hooks and they just were not working for me at all. But this way I can change out um, my little decor here for the seasons without much trouble. So I'm really loving the way that this all looks together. I think things just look better in threes and I just think it is such a simple way to decorate this type of space. So the next little project I'm going to work on here is my little um, spoon crock. This is what I have out all year long. It's a Ray Dunn um, spoon crock, or I guess it's a utensil crock, but it says grateful, thankful, and blessed. And I have it, you know, this, this way throughout the year. But for Christmas, I want to decorate it a little bit and make it a little bit more festive. So I, um, I cut out I cut out um, some words to put here on the back. I'm going to put um, Santa spoons here and then I'm going to decorate with some greens and maybe another one of those little wooden um, ornament signs and some ribbon and we'll see what it looks like when I'm all done. So here's my Santa spoon crock all dressed up for the holidays. I really think that it looks so cute and it's just something simple to do to add a little bit of color to your countertops. I always think that it's these little details that make decorating so much fun and give your whole home that cohesive holiday feel. Our last project today is such a sweet, fun one to do, especially if you have little kids around. This was something that I always did in my preschool classroom and the kids always loved it. The Dollar Tree this year had these awesome snow globes. They are really great quality and they come with this additional piece for a watertight fit and it's also great to raise up whatever you put inside. I found these little Makers Holiday Littles at Joanne Fabric. They had a bunch of different ones that you can choose from. So I have like a Santa, a couple little reindeers, and these really cute Christmas trees. The snow I got at the Dollar Tree, but you can also use um, Epsom salts with a little bit of glitter mixed in. The only other thing that you will need for this project is a glue gun. All you really need to do is to glue your miniature to the base, let it dry for a few minutes while you add some snow to the globe, put the two pieces together, and you're basically done. You can decorate the bottom or the top however you want to. My little preschool class would have so much fun putting their creations inside their snow globes. I would always add their names and dates to the back. These are also the perfect size to add to all of those tiered trays that we have all around our house. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching my Decorate With Me video. I will try to put any links that I can in the information section down below for you. Don't forget to check out Mapiful for a really great holiday gift idea. I hope you'll join our community over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life, and please subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in the next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!